Well, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Catio Chat this morning. We're going to follow Miss Muffy to the kitchen. We're doing that. <laughs> there we go. Bear was busy having a bath, so he was busy. There we go. Now we're all up. See, it's about 20 after 5. And I see Mr. Loki coming to do his weather report. Good boy, Loki. There he goes. He's going to give us the weather report. Here. Good boy, Loki. There we go. All right. Who else is up? Here's Miss Luna. Good morning, Lou. You going to be sociable today? I think so. There she is. Oh, beautiful tail. There. I hear somebody. Here's Bear. Oh, here's Miss Muffy. Hi, sweetie. Hey. Here she is. What a good girl. She gets up with everybody in the morning. Miss Muffy's 24 and a half years old. She's going to be 25 in August. I know it's insane, she doesn't look it, but she is. We got her in 1999. I'm gonna turn the coffee pot on just because, because it's early and I need one. <laughs> well, let's see what's gonna go on here today. We haven't seen Bear yet. I think he's in the bathroom. I did a little bit of work on my painting yesterday. <laughs> Don't know what it's going to look like in the end, but I guess it'll look like something. Yeah, so here we are. We're all up. Oh, I see Loki's face. Back to the door. <laughs> are you going to come in, Loki? I don't think anybody's going to come out with you today. It's cold. Ooh. I would say winter has returned. <laughs> yeah, it's cold enough to snow today, I would say. We've had so much rain lately, it's unbelievable. My poor mom had water in her basement yesterday. I had to go and with our big shop back and help her out. <laughs> yeah, so I've been doing a little bit of reading on polydactylism in, uh, in Maine Coon Cats and... Uh, it's got such an interesting history. And I guess they, they go back. Well, the Maine Coon heritage goes back about 300 years. Here comes one right now. Well, he's not coming, but I can hear him. <laughs> um, yeah, that goes back about 300 years. And the, the original Maine Coon cats were polydactyl until uh, seafaring cats came on ships and whatnot and kind of mingled with, with the Maine Coons and then there was breeding and then I think that's how the polydactylism kind of got bred, maybe bred out of the Maine Coon cats because they were mingling with, with other cats. And, uh, but yeah, it, it really had a purpose for Maine Coon cats. They lived in the uh, deep forests of Maine and they needed them for snowshoes basically kept them on top of the snow <laughs> yeah so it's really interesting and we have a polydactyl it's bear he's got eight extra toes not this one this is Luna checking out my easel <laughs> well yeah so that's kind of the history on polydactylism. I found it quite interesting. I'm sure a lot of my main subs or my American subscribers know the whole story. Yeah. So it's actually mm -hmm. kind of kind of hard to get a polydactyl Maine Coon cat now because a lot of the breeders had bred it out of them, and now a lot of them are breeding poly. Dactylism back into Maine Coon cats because that's what people want. Hi, Bear. We want extra toes. Are you going to come over? I pulled out your chair. Yeah. Want to get up? 
It's looking at. <laughs> this is our guy with all the extra toes. He has eight extra toes. Six on the front and two in the back. So he was a good uh, snowshoe kitty in the forests of Maine. And apparently those big mittens and extra toes are really good for catching prey. This one thing uh, Maine Coon cats are known for is their hunting abilities as well. Good boy bear. Well, let's go in and sit down for a few minutes. Oop, Miss Muffy inherited an, a little bed yesterday. I don't know if she'll use it or not. But uh, my mother-in-law gave it to us. <laughs> Bear might try to get in it. She said her kitty was too big to get in it, so she gave it to us. <laughs> but uh, our kitties are too big to get in it, that's for sure. Except for Miss Muffy. Well, now I washed that in the washing machine yesterday. And look at all the sniffing going on. Apparently it's... A good wash in the washing machine doesn't get rid of all the smells because <laughs> they're smelling something. Oh my goodness. What is it? It looks like a big slipper. They sure are interested. Hi, Miss Muffy. Are you going to come in? Come on in. She can't hear me because she's very deaf. Here comes Luna. She's gonna. Uh oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, Luna, you had to ruin it. <laughs> Poor Miss Muffy. Let's go see. She's okay. There she is. She's okay. That's how cats communicate, I guess. And sometimes, yes, they will sort of pick on the weaker ones. Miss Muffy is weak. She's weak, but she's strong. She's kind of feeble, but she's uh, she's still very strong. But she still does everything she does and jumps up. And we got a big golly wampus right here. Gets up on the couch and she does everything. So she's she's kind of feeble, but she's still strong. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, there we go. We got somebody to take a picture of now. <laughs> Miss Muffy going to go for a walk. She's a little stiff, you can tell. Yeah, but she's doing all right. As long as nobody picks on her. Right, Luna? <laughs> Everybody's so quiet this morning and we got up late. Oh. Bear's looking at the window. That means Loki wants to come in. Maybe. Feels quite cold out here this morning. Is there a Loki out here? No, I don't see one, but it's freezing. Maybe he's already in the house. I can't remember. It's hard to keep track of them. <laughs> okay, Bear's going to come up. There he is. Here, come on up, so we can get a good look at you. Yeah, so Bear is our polydactyl cat, as you can tell. He's got giant feet, and they, they would have been really great in the snow. Yeah, big snowshoe feet. And uh, Maine Coon cats are also waterproof, pretty much. They have very oily hair, you can see on Bear's back. That's what that is, that oil slick. Right, Bear? Oh, he's coming in for another bat today. Yep. So they have oily coats. That repels the water and the snow when they're in the woods. They also have uh, shorter hair on their back and stuff, and that's for uh, preventing their hair. Oh, he's got a stick, in, stick caught in his hair or something. It prevents, uh... oh shoot, what was I talking about? Prevents something. Oh, the short hair on his back uh, prevents their hair from getting caught in branches and whatnot when they're back when they lived in the forest. 
So that's pretty interesting. But they even have short hair so they don't get caught in the trees. Somebody was thinking when they designed them. <laughs> right, Bear? Yeah. Well, oh, this has gone on long enough, so I better wrap it up and call it Gaddy Chat for today. And say goodbye to Luna and Miss Muffy. And I think Luffy's still outside. I checked and he wasn't. That's nah, right, he's in here. There's our Loki. He loves that scratcher, so <laughs> we'll look at him on that. There he is. Sometimes Loki's a little bit elusive. So I bet everybody's going to come in here now. Whoop, there goes Beer. He's getting by the girls. <laughs> come on in and we'll say goodbye. There. All right. We're going to wrap this up and call it Catio Chat. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the morning.